we are here to present our proof of concept of how to distribute the flight constant through uh, blockchain. So how did this all start? Uh, Michael, my colleague, yeah, he's, he joined uh, Swiss International Airlines uh, one and a half years back. And we both started with the same project, which is about the, uh, the modern retailing offer and order management initiative. And we had a lot of discussions about uh, distribution. And we also talked about the technology behind the distribution in the airline industry. And we also talked about a lot of bottlenecks that's behind the, uh, the, the technology. And that's how we started this topic all about. And then if you look at the, the current landscape of the, of the aviation industry or the travel industry, you, I think we have a lot of experts here from the different areas of the travel industry. And you know that when you have to integrate some products, every area has a set of their own standard APIs to say so for integration. And uh, if, we, if we look at uh, the airline industry, for example, the IATA has already taken some initiatives, for example, new distribution capabilities, the recent uh, offer order initiatives. But again, this is more concentrating or more scaling towards the airline industry. Of course, it's a very great initiative. We have a standard, but again, it's narrowing down to the airline industry. Now, imagine if an airline company wants to integrate a few other non-flight related ancillary products across the global markets, then we need to do uh, integration product by product, which of course is going to take a lot of time, a lot of efforts, a lot of different integrations with, with different standards, and uh, it also will cost a lot of money for, a, 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 for all the companies. So these are some of the bottlenecks that we discussed. And then I leave it to Michael now, and he will explain how this all evolved into the proof of concept. So when you might look out of your window in the aircraft, you might see maybe some clouds, some storms, or maybe a little blue sky. And when we look at the future, as Manny said, there are many, many different uh, problems or solutions that need to be tackled in order to really become airline retailers, as Lufthansa Group, for example. So we are exploring innovations that are on the, on the landscape and to accelerate the transformation that we're looking for, to be really become, in one sense, offer, integrate many different products, many different non-flight related ancillaries as well. So we met uh, the colleagues from ESO Travel and uh, Anke and the team in, uh, in Lisbon last year in the World Aviation Festival. And uh, from there on, this is a little bit, actually just a year, uh, we tried something out to have our first uh, connection in order to, um, to bring our content to the messenger, through the Camino messenger with the help of ESO into basically the world of uh, Camino network. So, what did we do? Um, it was actually a very quite exciting journey for us, and it, uh, that in that sense that we were able to do something really from scratch. And here, I think uh, we both would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, the colleagues from the Camino Network, uh, Pablo, Anka, and also Sam. I don't know if Sam is also here. Uh, thank you. And also the ESO group colleagues, Sebastian and Ramiz and a few of our Lufthansa group colleagues uh, who are not present today, who helped us to do this integration. And we did a hackathon in our Swiss headquarters in Zurich in June. And um, here we integrated our flight content into the messenger board and also into the blockchain. And where we did a basic search, price, book, and uh, pay, or in, in, in blockchain terminology, a mint a ticket uh, through blockchain. And uh, it was also quite a very uh, positively surprised uh, we were all um, to see that a blockchain could actually revolutionize or revolutionize the travel technology and it could be actually bringing in a future for uh, the whole travel ecosystem and make it more simple and easy. And I think, uh, or we think that the travel ecosystem can become more close with uh, such kind of a blockchain uh, technology. And uh, to go in detail more about the proof of concept, what we did exactly in detail, Michael will run through and he'll explain what we did exactly in the proof of concept. So with the help 
of the colleagues from ESO Gruppe, uh, who developed for us the partner plugin and the messenger board. Um, we use on the, on the top line the dotted line, which represents the Camino messenger, and on the full uh, outline, uh, the, the blockchain itself. We tried first things first to offer our content, to put our content into the network. And then on a next step, of course, we're looking forward then to bring other content, to source content to our offer management system. So we did basically, ESO acted as a mocked basically travel agency in a sense and connected to our APIs that you basically have uh, in our.com when you visit uh, our.coms, all our offers from our partners, which are several airlines and other. So all the content that you would see there would be responded by our APIs and offer and uh, offer management systems through uh, the network itself with our products, fair families, with the requested destination and origin, and uh, of course the requested date. Uh, in that sense, Camino, uh, Camino Isa Group would then provide the travel agent would then provide all the necessary information um, that is needed for creation of a booking and blocking the availability in our in our systems and. We responded, validated uh, through all the all through the Camina Messenger using the Camina newly defined Camina Messengers uh, messages, and after having validated everything, the travel agent was happy to confirm uh, the booking, and we proceeded to the creation of the PNR in our and this is very interesting legacy system. So we basically integrated not new offer management and some fancy stuff. We basically integrated to our existing APIs all our legacy, legacy stuff as you know, as our tickets and PNRs uh, from, from the 60s basically. We then uh, proceeded with the payment. Uh, the payment we integrated basically, the, our existing uh, payment tab. Unfortunately, this didn't work out as, as we had uh, not enough uh, credit cards that worked at the very end. But we were basically um, at the very end happy enough that we could create the PNR and having the PNR created having the reservation taken and showing that the world is basically possible for at least in a transition phase in parallel. So in a sense, we would have our tickets and our PNRs in our legacy systems and at the same time being able to mint the actual booking on chain and having a peer-to-peer -peer basically transfer of the actual asset itself. So we are very much looking into next steps and Mani is going to tell you more about the key results of the PLC. Yeah, so what were our key learnings or key takeaways from these two days of hackathon that we did in, in, in Zurich? The first and I think the foremost is that uh, how quickly we could integrate or we could connect to a new distribution partner who is not traditional travel agency, but it could be also any third party provider who is willing to uh, sell our product or vice versa, we could also sell their product. So this was a very good key takeaway for us that it could be a very simple and easy uh, integration and to find new purchase points or new distribution partners. And of course, I think we are uh, a lot of people from the management here. Of course, the management is also interested in costs. Uh, and I think this was also a good learning for us that through messenger board and through the Camino network, we see a scope for reducing our distribution cost. So I think this is also another key message for us, and this is also our hope that it will reduce our distribution cost. And it's not just all about this cost, but it is also about the scalability at the industry level. I think one of the pain points that we talked about in the first slide is that um, today, if we want to connect with other non and or non flight related products yeah it 's all integration, so we need to do a lot of integration, but with blockchain it 's not any more integration it 's just a validation. I think Thomas mentioned before this yeah connect one and connect to all so it 's going to be quite easy. Imagine that uh, uh, Lufthansa group we have like more than one hundred of direct API connections with our partners and Tomorrow, we introduce a new, say for example, an ancillary product, or we have an upgrade of our version. So all our 100 partners, they have to again upgrade their versions. But with blockchain, we do it once, and we throw the content into the blockchain, and all the 100 other partners who are already connected or into the blockchain, they can get the content without doing any further integration or upgrade 
from their side. So I think scalability is a very important topic and this would also bring in our travel ecosystem more closer. That's our hope. And um, of course, this all sounds very easy and it all sounds good, right? Yeah, and I think uh, blockchain is also another very good marketing buzzword that's going on today. But uh, when we look at or when we talk to the uh, travel industry colleagues, uh, does it really work? Or is blockchain just a scam? This is, I think, uh, that's something which is a, a topic that's today. And um, what we think is that uh, there is a lot of uh, skepticism still about the blockchain topic whole. And I think there's a lot of education that is required uh, when it comes to uh, the travel trade and especially for different uh, people at a different level, we need to have some education. But um, I think blockchain is not just about uh, technology, but we are talking about uh, trust. We are talking about here transparency, and we are also uh, talking about the decentralization. So I think these are some of the key messages that needs to be conveyed, not just uh, to the people among here, what we are talking about uh, on a broader level, the industry needs to understand this. So I think uh, it looks really all easy peasy, but actually there are a lot of skepticism behind this, and I think, I think we all already had some speakers who are talking about this. So I think um, a good education roadshow about the blockchain is also required across the industry level. So these are some of the key uh, takeaways for us. And then maybe, Michael, please, you can also say some final words and what we have as future steps in our mind. So we are still in an exploration, exploration mode. What we did with ETHO uh, and with Camino the last month is, was in our staging environment. Nevertheless, we're looking forward to, at some point in time, do something real, uh, in a sense. Um, but we, for that, we need further steps of validation, further steps of testing, further steps of looking if this is really something that could uh, serve at the scale that Lufthansa basically, Lufthansa Group basically needs. So we are uh, currently looking for different POCs and different end-to-end -end stuff to be tested uh, with uh, a travel management company, with looking for intermodal, if you know how complex intermodal it is for an airline to sell, for example, uh, rail tickets to our customers. So maybe there is potential there to simplify this and, of course, extend it to all these potential airline retailing capabilities when it comes to offer non-flight-related non -related products, which are very interesting. And at the very end, we put it at the last, like at the very heart of what blockchain basically serves when it comes to the payment transactions. Uh, and settlement on chain, basically, um, which, of course, would require a lot of work still on our side, but nevertheless, worth exploring in the next couple, hopefully in the next couple of months and, and years. So if you're interested in working with us or exploring different use cases, Mani and me will be here the whole day. So just reach out, contact us, and we are more than happy to uh, define any follow-ups or any po explore any possibilities. Yeah. Thank you very much.